In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to find articles for your annotated bibliography in Performing Arts Periodicals database. <clears throat> so it will want you to log in. You want to use the, your username and password for Canvas. It's the only one the library ever cares about. And I'm going to search for articles about an older film, The Hurt Locker. It came out in 2008. It was directed by Catherine Bigelow, who's the first woman to win a Best Director Oscar. Hopefully, so far, the only woman. Hopefully not the last. So we got 186 results, but you only want ones from scholarly journals. Now, there is a limiter here that says peer-reviewed. ProQuest makes a distinction between whether the journal is a blind peer-reviewed or whether it's editorially reviewed. That distinction doesn't matter to you for the purposes of this assignment. So if you click on peer-reviewed, sometimes you'll get 25 and sometimes you'll get a few fewer. So are all of these scholarly ones blind peer-reviewed? According to ProQuest, no, because it says 19. So like I said, go ahead and use the other limiter instead. The other limiter that, of course, is very tempting is the full text one here, but don't, you don't want to use that one either because we might have it full text in one of our other databases, and you can just use this little check for full text button to jump from database to database. So 25 results, great, but not all of these are going to be what you're looking for because you need lengthy, in-depth analysis written by an expert. So some of these articles, they may be from journals, but they're too short. So like Film Quarterly, it's one of the premier film journals, but this article is too short. So this one, it doesn't say how many pages it is, which is odd, actually. Um, but if we go to the abstract, we can read it, and it sounds like it's, it's more about the, you know, a litigation about who wrote the screenplay. So it's not an analysis of the film itself. So we don't want that kind of article. Again, film quarterly, but it's too short. So this one's a bit better, um, specifically talking about, you know, this soundtrack. Um, it's lengthy. Uh, we d ProQuest doesn't have the full text, so we could check to see if it's full text. Just go ahead and click on the check availability. And it thinks. And in this case, we don't have it full text somewhere else because it says check availability, not found online. If we physically had it, and for this quarter, if we physically have it, you could just request it, and then uh, we still have um, some people in interlibrary loan that are in the building scanning things. Um, but in this case, we don't have it either. If you had your heart set on it, you could always fill out an interlibrary loan form for the article. Just give us a few days, and we'll get electronic copy from another library. A few comments doesn't sound terribly lengthy to me. So a gray zone between documentary and fiction. But this is an interview. You don't really want just interviews. You want in-depth analysis. This is better um, from Film Quarterly, 29 to 32, 29, 30, 31, 32. So it's a little short. Um, you really want something at least five pages long. So this one is lengthier camera obscura do we have it anywhere else survey says again we don't have it we 
explosive structure. Um, it's over five pages, and this one happens to already be full text in ProQuest. Let's go ahead and take a look at the full text. So the other thing we want is, does it have references? On rare occasions, you'll find articles that don't have references. But as long as it's at over five pages in in-depth analysis and written by an expert from an actual journal, you're OK. So in this case, you should be able to find information about the author. It's usually on the first page or on the last page. So I don't see it here on the first page. So I'm just going to jump down to the bottom. And we do have lots of references. And we know who wrote it. So he was an assistant professor of English at the US Air Force Academy. Um, at least he was when this article was written, written which was, I think, 2010. Yeah, 2010. So other ways of looking for articles, we could look for articles about Catherine Bigelow herself. So Hurt Locker was not her first film. Um, she had made some others, and she's subsequently made more films as well. So we could look for scholarly articles about her as a director and then compare it to our take on, on the Hurt Locker. The other thing is that we could look for articles about some of the themes raised in the Hurt Locker. So the Hurt Locker is, is set during the Iraq War. So we could do a search. I'm just going to start over here about um, war films and specifically the Iraq War. I got 155. Again, I just care about the scholarly ones. Book reviews, I don't want book reviews. They're always going to be short. There's actually a little button here to say exclude reviews. So let's see if that book review disappears now. It did. Okay. But it's not going to get rid of all the short articles, unfortunately. So war films is uh, going to bring up ones about war documentaries and Hurt Locker's fiction. The other thing we could do is look for subjects and see if there are other terminology that would help us here. So in, I typed in more films, but the tag is motion pictures. So if we did motion pictures and Iraq war, I got a lot more. I got 56 scholarly. So sounds great, too short. How films about the Iraq War construct publics. Nice and lengthy. Lots of references. And it's available full text. So to sum up, try your film first. You might try the director of the film. And then you could try looking for articles about some of the main themes of your film.